Let's set the scene for a second. In the early 60s, we were in the throes of the space race, but the theme of exploration did not just extend to the stars. A curiosity developed to further explore the depths of the sea found on our very own planet as well. At the time, dive watches had already entered the fold, but many were still prohibitively expensive. This is why in 1964, Urs Eschel, the head of development for Doxa Watches, put a team together to develop an affordable professional dive watch that was equally as reliable and robust as the more expensive dive watches that had been presented so far. In 1967, the Doxa Sub 300 and 300T were born, and by 1969, Doxa Sub watches became the official watches of the Swiss Army's elite divers unit. One such reference was the Doxa Army, with a black case, bezel, and sand beige dial that provided heightened legibility underwater. Recently, a black ceramic case limited edition revival of 100 pieces was released in partnership with Watches of Switzerland in honor of this highly sought after vintage design. With the run of 100 selling out so quickly, Doxa today introduces a new stainless steel case tribute to the Doxa Army that, thank heavens, is not a limited edition. The sub-300 case format the Doxa Army utilizes will be familiar to fans of the brand, with a modern width of 42.5 millimeters, yet a compact lug-to-lug -lug length of 44.5 millimeters across the wrist. The flying saucer shape of the case is extremely wearable due to its compact lug-to-lug, -lug, but its professional diameter of 42.5 millimeters allows the watch to remain highly legible and robust. The screw-down crown secured 300 meter depth rating is certainly more than enough for the casual aquatic explorer, and will even hold up for professional divers looking to head down well below the surface. There are five configurations to choose from, all of which utilize the same famed sand beige dial. Where they vary is in bezel metal, ceramic insert color, and the affixed strap. The first duo can be had with a stainless steel bezel and black ceramic insert, paired either on a matching steel bracelet or a black FKM rubber strap. The remaining trio spices things up a little, introducing a first ever bronze metal bezel that is paired with a green ceramic timing scale insert. This combination can be bought on a stainless steel bracelet, black FKM rubber strap, or an insert matching green FKM rubber strap. Both the bracelet and rubber straps utilize Doxa's ratcheting dive extension clasp, allowing you to really fine tune the fit or to strap it over a wetsuit. Now, I'm normally a bracelet advocate, but as a Doxa Sub 300 owner myself, I cannot stress enough how well made and comfortable the rubber straps are. Aside from the sand beige dial, three visual elements really distinguish the Doxa Army from the Sub 300 watches we are accustomed to. Firstly, the white timing scale is much larger than the timing scale found on the Sub 300, making it easier to read. Secondly, rather than utilize a dome sapphire crystal, the Army utilizes a flat sapphire crystal, which mitigates the thickness a tad, keeping it just below 12 millimeters. Lastly, the handset stands out with a large shovel-tipped hour hand and an arrow-tipped central seconds hand. And with both utilizing black coated stems, they create the floating illusion collectors love over the dial. The dial is simultaneously eye-grabbing and legible, with a sand beige central medallion that breaks to black as you reach the edges of the outer minutes track. Each of the boxed hour indices are filled with superluminova, and each of the central hands, as well as the numerals and triangular index of the timing scale, leverage luminous coatings as well. Strategically, since the aged superluminova utilized on the dial is sandy in hue, only the portion of the index over the black outer minutes ring is covered with loom. As the indexes break into the sandy central medallion, they switch in color to black, creating a super legible pseudo checkered aesthetic. Inside the Doxa Army is the tried and true automatic caliber ETA 2824. While not particularly a glamorous caliber, it is the perfect choice for a watch born for being a high performer at a lower cost. Calibers like the 2824 are venerated for their consistency, being both accurate and very robust. For more information on pricing, take a look at the description below, but prices start at 1,950 Swiss francs. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to be notified for future videos. Take care, and see you on the next one.